Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today I am going to share to you my second leaderboard for the Miss Universe 2019 pageant. So it's still a top 10 because there's less than 20 candidates have been selected so far. So I'll just stick with the top 10 first. But before we proceed, don't forget to watch my review and analysis of all the Miss Universe 2019 contestants profiles. You can just go ahead and check on my channel. And also, I am presenting my regional ranking in every profile video and analysis of the contestants that I'm uploading. And this leaderboard will change that ranking. And you will see the updated list on the next episode of the Miss Universe 2019 contestants profile review and analysis. And enough of that, and let's just talk about our top 10. I mean, my top 10 as of the moment. My number 10 is Sierra Leone, Marie Esther Bangura. I just wanted Esther to work very hard and get the placement she deserves this year. To be honest, she is fading a little bit to me. And the only thing that reminds me how amazing she was is her experience with Miss Universe at that year. So hoping to see more improvements from her in the future. My number nine is Cambodia, Somnang Alina. I really cannot ignore Somnang Alina. I just like her so much. She may not be as strong as other contenders right now, but I am hoping she will do her homework and slay. My number eight is Nepal, Pradipta Adhikari. I am one of the happiest in the world when I knew she was going to Miss Universe. For now, there's a lot of strong contenders from Asia Pacific region in Africa, but I was not a fan of Maneta Devgota last year, but after seeing her transformation on her way to competing in Miss Universe, my jaw dropped. I am so amazed at how she transformed. And now I am expecting that they will drop my jaw again this year, which is why I'm very, very excited. My number seven is Malaysia, Shweta Sekhon. I really wanted to uplift and inspire Malaysia and Shweta Sekhon in working hard this year for this chance because I really see huge potentials in her. I'm talking about Shweta, and I would really, really love to see Malaysia qualifying in the first cut. I am not Malaysian, but I am dying to hear Malaysia being called as one of the finalists in Miss Universe because I was not even born the last time they placed. So I just wish I could hear that moment when the host called in Malaysia. That would be amazing. Number six is Croatia, Mia Rakman. I am just in love with her and wanted her to do really, really well. I am hoping that the team working with her will do their best because I can honestly see her as the potential flag bearer of the European region and I think that would be amazing. My number five is United States, Chesley Chris. I am still confident about my statement in my review video that she looked beautiful but honestly, I really do not see her winning Miss Universe. It may be too early, but I just don't see it happening. But however, I respect her intelligence and her strong profile, and there is no doubt that she will place and might do very well, to be honest. Plus, her interview skills are just phenomenal, and her intelligence is a force to reckon with. I am expecting to see her place, that's all. Number four, Vietnam, Wang Thuy, another impressive contender. I have to be honest, I know she is an amazing woman with great and inspiring backstory of struggle to success. And obviously, she looked amazing and she's on fire when she's on stage. But I am still not 100% confident about her when it comes to interviews. I mean, I know she's smart, she smart, but I am worried about the language. And I commend her though for improving so much when it comes to her English speaking skills. But after what happened to Hehenye last year, I am so nervous in relying the chances of winning the crown to the interpreter. My number three is Colombia, Gabriela Tafur, another strong contender for the crown. There are some stylings of her that isn't really my type, but I just saw that as a minor, minor detail because I know many contestants are experimenting on different looks and styling. But what cannot be denied is that she's a woman with beauty, confidence, and intelligence, plus strong sash. I still consider her as someone who is in the race to the crown. My number two is Indonesia, 
Frederica Alexis Call, as what I have said before, I have never seen a Miss Indonesia competing for Miss Universe that is as well polished, as smart, as outspoken, as confident, and as so ready to compete as Frederica. I am really, really confident about her performance for Miss Universe 2019. And again, I'm just hoping and finger crossing that all of my feedbacks and opinion about her is right but then again do not be overconfident please do more training still and as of the moment my number one bet for miss universe 2019 is brazil julia horta the more i see and the more i follow this woman in different social media platforms the more i am in love with her i saw one video of her speaking english and i am very very happy that she could even if she still have the Brazilian Portuguese accent affecting her English pronunciation, but it's just satisfying to know and to hear her speak English very well. And also, beautiful contender and wouldn't it be amazing to see her win Miss Universe. Plus, she's also very, very, very smart and great speaker as well. So I am confident with Brazil doing very well this year. So that's it. That's my current and new updated top 10 second leaderboard for Miss Universe 2019. What do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. And of course, if your favorite made a list, be proud and share the video. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. And most importantly, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.